Hello and welcome to Chase After the Right Price. It's Thursday and we're hoping to get a bonus sailing day in, so let's come along and do it. Alright, so the first sale, he had an Xbox 360. Well, he had four Xbox 360s. A collector. <laughs> I don't, it was an old guy. He's like, he picked them up for cheap and was going to flip them. So we got the Modern Warfare 3 one with the matching controller and all the cords. He wanted 75 bucks, and he was pretty stubborn on his prices. So I got these two games thrown in, which were marked at 10 apiece, and 75 bucks for all that. And everything's minty fresh. So, 75 bucks for that special edition system in these games. Pretty good deal. We'll take it. Take a few out. How much did you want per game or for the box or how did you want to... That's a good one, that Tiger Woods. Alright guys, so we asked for games at that sale and they brought out a bin of 360 games, which you saw. Unfortunately, a lot of the discs were missing. And they had kids, so they had no idea where they were. But we got these two for five bucks, both complete. And Tiger Woods, PJ14, that was one of them that was missing, if you were right. Just the system. One dollar, no holla. System only, but good deal for a dollar. Price is right. All right, guys, so just got a call back from one of the sales where I left my number. The lady said that her son had some Game Boys and some games. And we're going back to see what she's got and hopefully get a good deal. Bartle do. All right, so the lady called us back and we got Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance. The Advance doesn't have the back on it. Spent $10 a piece on these. And then she told us she had Pokemon Heart Gold. However, inside is not Pokemon Heart Gold. Bummer. Pokemon Diamond. It's a soft bummer. It's still it's still good. <laughs> and we got Pokemon Crystal for the Game Boy Color. And I'm driving today because we're in my hometown garage sale. So chauffeur. Chauffeur. Last time he came alone, he went to the same sale two or three times. So yeah, I get confused, and she's got it down. Yeah. So and the Pokemon games were two bucks a piece. So that was a great little callback. Normally they don't happen that fast. Pretty much never, but we'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Well, thank you. I miss you. Yeah. Thank you. My, this duck might go to it. Randy is going to love it. Oh, oh super. Wow, it's it's it. It. All right, guys. Just picked up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 sealed for two bucks. And then the Buffy the Vampire Slayer DVD series. All of them are sealed except for season one. So season one through seven, mostly sealed. And that was 30 bucks. Should be worth 60 to 80. Decent pickups. Go over too well. Mm -hmm. 
Picked up the iPod for 10 bucks. And brownies. Yum. Hey guys, so Sarah had to go to an appointment, so now it is just me, and I came back to the area to hit up a few more sales and see what I could get, even though it's already 1 o'clock. But I just got a very big haul of games. I'll show a quick car shot here. Games, games, games. Couldn't get uh, film inside because it was in the house and, you know, I don't really like filming inside of people's houses. They don't like that, so I will show you guys what I got. It was 110 bucks. I know there's some, a couple Dreamcasts, Genesis. There's a sweet Sega Genesis like collector's case, and just a lot of random stuff. I don't even really know what's all there, but I know it's a good bit of systems, and it was definitely worth 110 bucks. So we'll go through it later. All right, guys, I just picked up this. Rumor Reflex phone in the box, two bucks. Phones like this, if they're minty fresh and in the box, if you can pick them up for a couple bucks, they can go for around 15 to 20 on eBay. There's still a market for that stuff, you know. A lot of the older people like to have the actual keyboards and stuff, so yeah, just a, just a little thing to look out for if they're cheap. Just picked up this awesome 1987 skateboard for two bucks. So certainly couldn't pass that up. Alright, so I just got another call back. Got an Odyssey 2 with about 15 games for 25 bucks. Two controllers, power cord, decent shape, and a box full of Lost in Space toys, including the Transforming Jupiter 2, which has a good bit of wear, but not too bad. And a few others. 20 bucks for that. And I know that that one is going to at least be worth 20 bucks alone, so I figured ah, I'll take the whole box for 20 so it was nice because they called and I was literally 30 seconds from their house, so good deals. Alright guys, so here's everything I got for $110. You can see we've got the Sega CD. It's in rough shape. Uh, looks like it's missing the cover to the disc tray. But hey, it's a Sega Genesis CD combo, the vertical version, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got two Dreamcasts, and there's at least four VMUs, I think. Yep, there's two white ones there, another one, and another one. Three controllers, all Sega brand, and a bunch of cords for them. And then we got the beat up PS1. Here's a stack of Dreamcast games. We got Sonic Adventure. There's a Tiger Woods 99 for PS1, Twisted Metal. Here's a CD loader for the Sega Dreamcast. Not too sure about that. Maybe that's to play all these uh, <laughs> fake games or, you know, bootlegs. So we got a stack of bootlegs, unfortunately. There's a laser lens cleaner. Evil Dead PS1 is in there. Final Fantasy Tactics. Time Suckers on Dreamcast. NFL 2K Football. Vigilante. The Second Defense. Probably the best game. Virtua Fighter um, 3TB. Soul Fighter. Thought that one would be decent, but not really worth too much. Final Fantasy. And WWF Attitude. Here's the Sega Genesis. I think this case is super cool. It's got two controllers, all the cords, the system, and then Mortal Kombat, Vector Man, T2, Super Monaco, Crossfire, Biohazard Battle, Lakers vs. Celtics, and Sonic 3, and the system cleaner. So the case is really cool. I like that. And then... Got another Sega Genesis Model 2. There's a Super Nintendo. Some more Genesis controllers. A bunch of original Xbox controllers. Most of them being third party, it seems. 
And then, down there is a PS3. Um, that he said he thinks was the backwards compatible version. So we'll see about that, but... All that for 110 bucks. I'll definitely take it. He, uh, he was kind of a reseller himself, slash collector. Um, but he was ready to get rid of it. Thank you guys for watching Chase Had to the Right Price. I really appreciate it. This was an awesome Thursday day of sailing and had a lot of fun. So appreciate you guys watching. And hopefully tomorrow when I go out Friday, I'll be recording even better if it finds. So stay tuned for the next video. Chase after the right price.